Before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that we are actually giving away a free PS4 and Xbox One at the end of the month. To enter into the giveaway, all you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and comment that you subscribed to win. Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Trending here bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we have 5 facts that every Tay K47 fan should know. Now if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We do top 5s and 10s on all of the most famous rappers to date. We also do many different types of videos that you guys will definitely not want to miss, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also guys, make sure you watch the video fully through because I'm going to have 2 free Amazon gift card codes for you guys, my viewers, to win. Now I'm going to hide them pretty well so everyone has a good chance at finding them a couple days later after the video has been uploaded just so everyone has a fair chance at finding them anyways guys before we get into the video i got to give the notification shout out of the video that's going to my boy brady shout out to you man thank you so much for having the channel notifications on if you yourself watching this video right now would like a channel notification shout out the start of my next video for all of my subscribers to see and help you gain subscribers all you have to do is turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and comment down below saying notification squad. Alright guys, so today we're going to be bringing you guys 5 facts that every Tay K47 fan should know. But before I get into that, I'm going to tell you guys just a little bit about him, just because he is not as well known as, he's, as he wants to be at this moment. So Tay K47's real name is actually Taymor, and he's originally from Long Beach, California. His mother's from Long Beach, and his father's actually from Compton. He lived there for his first eight years of his life before moving to Las Vegas. A year and a half later, his father got out of jail and then moved to the east side of Arlington, Texas. He actually moved to the west side in seventh grade and later attended Martin High School for his freshman year, but later he was actually kicked out and placed on alternative high school. It was at this time when Taymor or Tay K47, whatever you like to call him, actually started mobbing in the streets on the east side. Tay K actually started rapping in 2015 and he has multiple music videos that have been up uploaded to YouTube. He released a little compilation project called Santana World on July 18th, 2017, and everyone knows Tay K for his really hit song called The Race. He actually released that song before getting put in jail. He was actually made that music video while on the run from the police, which is absolutely insane to even think about. Like imagine being, you know, chased by the police, like the police are looking for you and you're just sitting in like a trap house recording a music video. That is some pretty that's some pretty hard stuff. So now that you guys know a little bit about Tay K, I'm going to tell you guys the five facts that every fan should know. For the fifth fact, guys, Tay K is actually currently in custody and is connected to several crimes in Texas. He was charged with murder of a 21 Ethan Walker during a home invasion robbery. It was Tay K and seven other people connected to this crime, so no one really knows exactly who actually murdered the guy. Now, there were seven other people during this home invasion, and Tay K actually said in court that he never is the one that shot the gun. Now, nobody knows for sure, or probably will ever know for sure unless one of those seven people actually fess up, which I highly doubt will happen. Because people like that, you know, they have that no snitching rule, because apparently, like, if you snitch in that kind of, like, a gang group, you will be killed. Starting at the number four fact that every Tay K fan should know is that a famous podcaster known as No Jumper thinks Tay K won't be serving life in prison. If you guys aren't aware of who No Jumper is, No Jumper actually is, a like, a famous podcast YouTuber. He actually works with a ton of well-known SoundCloud rappers now. Going from Lil Pump, Smoke, per Maddox. He, he works with so many, you know, upcoming rap artists, and it, he is actually pretty cool. I love watching his podcast. But as I was saying, No Jumper actually thinks Tay K will not be serving life in prison as he believes he will be let off because they can't find proof of him actually committing these crimes. No Jumper said in a little Instagram live video that Tay K, otherwise known as Taymor, will not be be facing life in prison because all of these crimes that he's being accused for actually there was no cameras there every person that said he was there is dead so they can't you know get it from them and there's just no proof the only proof that they have of all these crimes happening was blood being on the scene now Tay K always rolls with a group of people so no one actually really knows who committed these crimes because nobody will fess up now, I'm honestly, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work in court, but I don't think all seven can be convicted of a murder, but I'm honestly not sure. So starting at the number three fact, Tay has actually gotten some serious cosigns in the past three months. Now, every fan of him should know these because this is what's going to make him blow up as soon as he's out of jail. So make sure you guys listen closely. So everybody knows Tay famous song, The Race. 
Well, that has been getting some serious traction lately, and it's been being played and even remixed by rappers like Lil Yachty, Playboy Cardi, and Kodak Black. Now, Lil Yachty did actually a remix to this song because he wants to help free Tay K and just let everybody know about him. Playboy Cardi actually wanted to sign him to one of his side record deals. I'm not really 100% sure on all that because I couldn't find much information. I'm really sorry about that, guys. And then Kodak Black actually wanted to fully sign him to his record label, but he can't get in contact with them. There's so many rappers right now that's bumping his hit song the race and it's absolutely insane if you guys kind of think about it this is kind of like an xxx tentacion kind of situation we're in right now because remember when when he was actually logged up in jail everybody was bumping his sick track look at me now tay k is in jail and everyone's you know being all hyped about his song the race so it's kind of crazy how on how, how like all of these things work Alright guys, starting at the second fact, we actually have, before Tay K was arrested, he actually put a bunch of merch out for his fans to buy and support. Being behind bars, you obviously can't make any money, you can't make music to make more money, so he put out a bunch of merch to go, you know, all of his fans to buy and help support him while he's in jail. Now this merch is actually being sold all around the world, making him absolutely so much money. Like I can't even count how many Instagram posts and Twitter posts I've seen of people taking selfies with his shirt on. But it's absolutely insane and I act it's it's kind of crazy to even think about how like music can actually have this kind of effect on people, but it is really cool. Alright, guys, so starting at the number one fact. All you guys have to listen to this one because this part is actually huge. Every fan should know this because this is actually one of the main reasons why he's behind bars. And there is a chance he can actually be behind bars for like many, many years, even face life. So if you guys are watching this point, I want you to comment down below saying chicken nuggets because I just want to see who wants to know this. So starting at the number one fact, guys, Tay-K is actually connected to another murder. But this one's actually in San Antonio while he was on the run so just think of this he was already on the run but then now he's connected to this other murder now this was also on may 25th right and he was actually trying to rob this 64 year old man called named skip peep sadly i can't show a picture of skip peep's beatings that tay k actually gave him because that will affect my videos you know age restriction and stuff like that but the picture was in the thumbnail, so if you did see that, that's actually what he looked like and what Tay K did to him. And not many people actually like seeing blood, so I'd rather not put it in the video. He was actually walking in a park near his home, and then Tay K actually held him up at gunpoint. Peep refused to give Tay K his money, so he actually shot him allegedly or jumped him. I'm not really 100% sure, but he was murdered, so I'm, assu I'm assuming he was shot. Tay-K was actually trying to rob Pete because he was earlier at a bank machine, so uh, he must have had a bunch, I don't know how much money he had, but I'm pretty sure Tay-K actually followed him to his house and then actually jumped him and shot him in a park. Now, this is the one reason right now why he is, you know, he has so much things going on because Tay-K was the only one at that scene. He wasn't with all of his mob, right? So he, what, no one really knows, like for those other murders, no one actually knows who committed the murder, but for this one, it's clear as day who actually did it because it was only Tay K there. So that's some serious stuff to deal with, guys. But if you did enjoy this video, please hit a like. I really would enjoy that. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Anyways, guys, it's been District Trending. I'm out. Peace.